Flash! Uh... I'm gonna start off with an amendment. The whole no negative reviews thing. I wanna draw a distinction between a movie that people claim is bad because it doesn't meet with their personal taste and a movie that is technically bad. There's no getting around seeing a boom mic in shot. That's not usually an artistic choice. That's a mistake. When movies are just mistake after mistake after mistake, that's technically a badly made movie. But that's not to say that these films don't have an audience. People enjoy watching them because they're so bad. For example, Flash Gordon. I had heard a lot about Flash Gordon, but I'd never seen it before. And my god, it's an experience. I will give it that. Released in 1980, three years after Star Wars, the visual effects are not good. Even for 1980, the acting wasn't great. The script was probably the worst thing. I will say, I like the aesthetic. I don't know why. It really appealed to me. And there were so many brilliant actors in it. Max von Sydow, Brian Blessed, and Timothy Dalton. Don't know why they were in it. I'd say the worst thing would be the script and the characterizations. A lot of movies have these pigeonholes for characters, but a lot of films do semi-successful jobs of dressing up the characters so it's a bit less transparent. In Flash Gordon, those characters were just rattling around in their pigeonholes. Flash was the hero. I know that because it was said 5,000 times in the film. It's even said in the bloody song. Of course, Ming the Merciless is a villain and he's one of those villainous villains who are villainous because they're villainous. But that was all well and good. It was all laughable really, but the thing that really got to me was the romantic interest slash damsel in distress. I have an ongoing feud with romantic interest slash damsel in distress. I dislike the idea behind them to begin with, the whole appealing to female audience or eye candy for male audiences. It's not an excuse for such vacuous characters. The character in Flash Gordon, I can't even remember her name. She's that much of a non-character. Has nothing else to her. In the first five minutes of the movie, you go, oh, that's Flash Gordon. Oh, I'm supposed to be in love with him? Okay, job done. I'm in love with him. Why? I don't know, but I am. Oh, Ming the Merciless wants me to be his sex slave? Okay. I mean, she doesn't object to any of this. Things just happen to her. I'll just stay here until Flash comes rescue me. None of the characters had personality, had nothing to them. Flash was a football star. I don't know why. It had no bearing to the plot whatsoever. The only characters who had personality were Brian Blessed, and that's basically because Brian Blessed just brings his personality with him. Brian Blessed, Prince Fulton! And it was boring. A film that looks like that with a plot like that should not be boring, but it is very widely loved and has been renewed on DVD several times over. For a film that's known for how terrible it is, it was very terrible. So it delivered on its reputation. It's not even one of Queen's better songs, really. <laughs> Good God.